In this video, I'll show you how to find some scholarly articles by using the library databases. Start by going to the library website at library.appstate.edu and I'm going to show you a variety of ways that you can search for scholarly articles. The first option is to use what's called an app search. App search covers many of our databases. It also includes our books and ebooks. So it is a really broad search and might be a great place to start for your research. Start by clicking on Advanced Search under the search box. And you'll notice that it gives us a number of different search boxes so that we can enter separate keywords in different combinations. You want to try different things until you begin to find the kinds of articles that you want. Don't get frustrated if you don't find the articles immediately. Try different keywords, things like synonyms or learn about keywords as you're browsing through articles and add to that until you begin to find the kinds of things that you want. So for example, I might search for food stamps and see what articles I can come up with. So notice I'm coming up with lots of different kinds of resources. Again, I'm getting ebooks, I'm getting a research starter, which is like an encyclopedia reference, videos. What I would suggest is you use everything on the left-hand side in order to focus your search a little bit more. The first thing I would suggest is to limit to peer-reviewed articles. Peer-reviewed means that they're scholarly articles that professionals within a particular field have reviewed before they were published in that journal. It allows you to have a certain amount of trust in these articles because you know they were vetted by professionals in that field. So that you can see narrows our list quite a bit. I also may want to narrow my focus by adding additional keywords. So maybe I'm interested in food stamps and the elderly. Always notice the drop downs that come up. You get suggestions for keywords here or you get combinations like this one where I can combine elderly or aged or older. Um, that might be a great way to make sure I'm pulling in um, a number of different terms that are similar. So when I do a search, it's going to look actually for all of those. So I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to search. Now I've narrowed my search a little bit further. Some other options you have are to keep going down on the left and you might want to look at the date range. So depending on your topic, think about the date range that's most appropriate. You can click and drag the date range. Or you can actually type a date in the box. So for example, you might be interested in material that's just from the past 10 years. Another option for limiting your search is to scroll down on the left and look at subject. When the databases are created, all of the articles are tagged with keywords. So this will show you the different groupings that are in our list. And maybe one of these is a good way to limit further your search. So you can try one of these and maybe you're interested in public welfare and update and that's going to narrow our list simply to those articles. If you're not happy with any of those that you choose, simply look here under your current search and you can see here's subject we limited to public welfare. If I don't want that anymore, I just click the blue X to take it back off. Once you've tried a combination of search terms and looked at different things like the date, you can begin to look at the articles. Click on a title if you're interested in it. It will give you more data about the article, including an abstract, which is a summary of the article. If you want to read the entire article, look on the left-hand side. Here we have the PDF full text. That will open the full text of the article immediately for you. 
or if I go back to my result list, I'll see that some have this yellow Find at ASU button. So click on that to see if we can find the full text of the article. In this case, it was able to go and find the full text from another database or another resource that we had available. If for some reason we don't have that article, it will come up and give you a few different options. One of which is you can check on Google Scholar and see if by chance it's available freely online. If not, option number three will be to request it via interlibrary loan. So you can request articles at no cost to you and we will request them from other libraries and email you a link to a PDF. So if you're finding articles um, that you're really interested in and you need them for your research, request them through interlibrary loan. Once you are here in this article, I just want to point out two things that you might want to collect. The first is that you can collect the citation right from here. If you click on the cite button, you can scroll to the citation style that you're using for your paper and utilize the citation style. The other thing that you can collect is called a permalink. This is a permanent link back to this article. You might want to collect that if you want to get back to this record at another time. Don't save the URL at the top like you would a normal website. It won't get you back to this article. So always collect the permalink. So that's a good example of a very broad search using App Search. Now I'm going to show you another broad search. I'm going to go back to the library's web page. And on the right hand side, we have some database information here. Another broad search is called ProQuest Central. Now this interface looks different, but it functions in much the same way as the app search. This has a lot of social science, health, and education materials in it. So it really is a good um, resource when you're searching for your social welfare policy analysis. Again, look for advanced search. It's at the top left here so that you get multiple search boxes to enter your keywords. I'm going to run a search. And notice I get, again, a list of different articles and I have everything on the left hand side as a way to narrow down my results. Again, I can limit to peer-reviewed scholarly articles. I can also limit to the date. And I also have subject groupings, just like you had in an app search. So the interface looks a little bit different, but it works in much the same way. And finally, I want to show you that you can focus your search in a very particular database if it's appropriate for your topic. On the right hand side of the library's webpage, click on Browse All Databases. From here, scroll down and you'll see that databases are organized by subject and you can choose social work. And here you will see the databases that I think are most appropriate for social work you have the option of choosing a particular database and running a search in exactly the same way that we just did in an app search. If you'd like suggestions about a particular database to use for your topic or you would like to brainstorm keywords in order to search for your topic, don't hesitate to contact a librarian or contact me directly. Jennifer Natali, my email is nataliejj at appstate.edu.